guys we are here back with another marvel battle lines video what i wanted to do today is actually start a new series of videos where we're going to be focusing on taking on campaign mode the reason why is because i've noticed a little surge in interest in the game and also a few people commenting on reddit and also on facebook that they're having a bit of trouble with particular stages in campaign mode so this is why i thought now is a better time than ever to actually jump in and start doing some videos so we are going to start off with stage three of chapter one and this is the team i'm going to be using but i am going to skip the story so here is the team i chose these particular cards they are quite easy for new players to get and also if you're very new to the game you should be able to collect doctor strange as a special reward so let's jump in so nick fury doesn't really have that much hp so we should be able to take him out pretty easily to be honest okay and his guys again their hp stat is not the highest but let's see um hold on i just realized that's he he's our guy okay so let's drop this down rouse the troops okay and let's do that fortunately he's not going to be able to one shot him but that is fine so you do need to defeat Nick Fury in seven turns or less. So that shouldn't be too difficult. Considering we've nearly taken, we've taken more than half of his HP already. Of course he uses suppressive fire. Slightly annoy him. That's fine. Okay, and let's just do this because we can use any of our other characters next to actually take out their character card. Okay, we've got some action cards there. And so War Machine is gonna attack the enemy with the lowest attack. So that is what we want. So we can focus on up here. Nice, he's gone. So a lot of these stages in the beginning of campaign mode are just there to help you train up and get better at the game. Oh, nice. We've got a card there. So generally in the beginning, they're not going to be that difficult to face. But nonetheless, we are going to go through all the stages. And I do really like the fact that they implemented this uh, auto skip feature nice we've got agent 13 because there are times when you really don't want to just be playing all, all of these cutscenes over and over again they are a bit tiresome especially if they are quite long so that is very great that they've added this feature in okay let's go again with the same team so absorbing man he's only got 300 hp so this should be pretty easy to finish let's um Let's see. The trouble with Dagger is that you cannot determine who she's actually going to attack. So as you can see, after summoning, deal 293 damage to an enemy by throwing a dagger. There are three enemies. We don't know which one she's going to choose, so that could work against us. Whereas Yondu, he will attack the enemy with the highest attack stat. So they're all the same. So again, we can't really use him. So let's use Man Ape and get rid of this guy here. Okay, fine. Let's put down Okoye. Oh no, no need for Okoye it seems. So we can actually finish it here. Oh no, it's been so long since I played campaign mode. Uh, let's let's do this. So as you saw, she focused on a random enemy there. This is fine. We can actually move Hawkeye and we can finish it. Easy. <laughs> Nearly man ape was able to one shot him. Okay, that's kind of crazy. All right. 
So the only difference between my team and your team, especially if you're just starting out, is that the level of your cars may be a bit lower than mine, as a number of the cars I'm using are actually maxed out. Okay, so now to take on Cotton Mouth. So his HP stat has actually gone up slightly. Okay, um... Let's do this. Okay, that's fine. Nice daredevil coming out. And we could actually finish it. So we are going to use Techno Organic Virus on this guy here. So let's see. Okay, we could put War Machine down as well. Let's use Rouse the Troops because why not? I do really enjoy using this card. Drop War Machine down. And he was able to take out the enemy. Done. Let's move on. Nice. So we are getting a bit of gold and XP by doing this. Let's move on to stage six. So slowly the enemy leader HP is changing, although this time it went down for some reason. Okay, let's drop him here. Oh. Iron Man, very nice. So I was a bit too quick there and didn't realize that there were going to be some assisted, assistant cards dropped on the board for us. It's fine. So we're speeding through this. Nice. So I forgot to mention before, you will be able to find chapter times in the description below. Just in case you don't want to watch every single stage. Okay, now that was it. We are on to chapter two. <laughs> okay, that was pretty easy. But I'm probably going to stop the video because... I want to do one chapter of video so that it's not too much for everybody. Actually, no, no, let's continue because chapter one was so quick. Let's continue with chapter two. So let's jump into chapter two. And again, it shouldn't really cause us too much issue. Let's keep with the same team. Okay, no assistance this time, which is fine. So I can drop down Ulysses' claw, take out that guy for us. Okay, skeletal swordsman, that is fine. Let's do that. Dumb. If you happen to have a card like Squirrel Girl, she does make things that much easier for you, but I decided not to include her in this particular team because not everyone has that card. The first time I actually got her was actually from the shop. That was the first time I got her, but you can actually get her from Spec Ops. But it is a hard stage, I believe, if I remember correctly. So not everyone is going to have access to that. Okay, so now we are on to stage two of chapter two. And let's get rid of these. 
Okay, nice. Let's drop man ape up here. Okay, frost giant grunt. Not really any issue to us, to be honest. Take him out pretty easily. Oh, and we got a card. Very nice. And let's take him out. And we got another card. So remember, guys, as well, with Team Synergy, you do get that extra little buff to attack and HP stats if you use cards from the same team. So as you saw, Man Ape and Okoye got a little buff because they're both from the Wakanda team. Very nice. Oh, is Hela going to show her face again? Yes, she has. Ooh. She's taking everyone out with her swords. All right. Okay, so it's not over yet. So War Machine lowest attack he's going to hit. So they all have the same attack, unfortunately. So let's do this. Let's drop him down there. Okay, fire demon, but luckily he's not going to do enough damage to knock us out. Nice. Oh, of course he moves him. Let's do that. Okay, that is fine. Let's do this. Okay, let's do this. Okay, okay, okay. Is that going to be able to kill us? Oh, lucky. So we are not able to take him out. But if we use... Let's do this. Because why not? Let's do that. And we should be able to move Daredevil down. And finish. There you have it. Oh, nice. We've got two cards. Let's move on to stage three. Okay, now to take on Scourge. Okay. So the HP has gone up a little bit. He's currently sitting at 1,000. But that's fine. We are currently at 2,000. So where possible, you kind of want to arrange your cards in a way that you do have the chance of forming more than one battle line, where possible. That way, it gives you more options for you to form the battle line and take out the leader. And that did not really work in our favor, but that's fine. So here you can see, we've got a way to form three battle lines so let's see where they put the card okay that is not the best but it did not kill us which is great let's use this again nice look at our attack stat and let's drop yondu down here easy so if you happen to get a rouse the troops definitely add it to your deck especially in the early stages of the game as it does make things that much easier when you're using zero cost cards or one cost as it does work on zero or one cost cards let's move on to the next stage 
So if you happen to have the Black Widow action card, so Expert Espionage, you can also include that in your hand or in your deck. So if you saw my challenge mode video, you would have seen me using both of those cards and it made us allow or well, allowed us to win pretty easily in challenge mode. Although there are times when things don't work out in your favor, but that's just the unluckiness of the uh, game, the RNG of the game sometimes. Uh, let's get some frags. So let's drop Okoye down. A bit of damage to Scourge. Okay, Dark Elf Leader. That's fine. Maybe take out... Hmm, not enough to take him out, but we can take out the Dark Elf with Daredevil. Okay, thought they would move him to be honest, but that is fine. Let's do this. Okay, and we're yet to use Doctor Strange. Haven't really needed to use him just yet. Okay, of course they dropped Scourge down again. That's fine. Let's, hmm, what to do? Let's do this. Can it put our attack staff up there? Yes, it did. Okay, so let's use that. Get rid of him. And let's drop her down right there. Thank you very much. So chapter four finished. A man ape showing off Mbaku. It is challenge day. <laughs> I did like Mbaku in Black Panther actually. It was a pretty cool character. He had a lot of uh, interesting lines. Okay, let's move on to stage five. Okay, 700 HPA, so slowly going down. But if you notice, there are quite a number of enemies on the board. Hmm. Thank you, War Machine. Okay, Falcon, that was a waste. If you guys didn't know what Falcon does, after summoning him, capture a nearby enemy whose HP is below 400 and vanish them from the battlefield. So the fact that he was put there on the corner literally did nothing for us. Um, let's put Okoye up here to take out this dude. Nice. Okay, Frost Giant Swordsman. Okay. Um, oops, I didn't mean to do that. But can we get our action card? Okay, we didn't get the one we wanted, but that is fine. So we can form two battle lines here. So let's see which line they tried to block off. Okay, the one at the top. That is fine. So we can actually use Doctor Strange for once. And let's drop him right there. And what Doctor Strange does, he puts a shield on all of your cards for one turn, I believe, or is it two turns? So they would recharge, but he would also be shielding them from any damage until the next turn. So that can come handy in a pinch if you're not able to form one battle line that takes out the enemy. Okay, three XP. Let's move on to the six. So yeah, he is pretty cool card. He used to be very good when the game first came out as his attack stat and HP stat, I think was 830, which was pretty good. But then they lowered his attack stat, they nerfed him a little bit, but kept his HP pretty high. Okay, let's take on the Dark Elf Sorcerer. I think it should be Sorceress, but semantics. Okay, um, let's drop Man Ape. Collect up those frags. What are they going to play? Okay, Dark Elf Soldier. So we're going to be taking on all of the Dark Elves, it seems. Let's take him out with Daredevil. Okay, is he going to kill us? I don't think so. No. Ooh, damn. 264 damage. Okay. Okay. Alright, uh, let's drop this. Rouse the troops. Let's 
get them all fired up. Let's take him out. He thought he could knock us out. I don't think so. Let's drop that down. Done. Record time. I know I've said this before. I really am liking Rouse the Troop. That card is pretty sick. And obviously the higher the card level is, the better it will be. It's kind of like a one cost Captain Marvel MCM. Whereas what she does when you drop her on the board, she does increase the attack stat of all nearby allies by 50% when she is level 1. So right now my card is level... What level is it? Um, I think it's level 3, if I remember correctly. Let's have a quick look. Yeah, level 3. So what it does, it buffs the attack stat of all cards with one or less cost by 61%. So that is pretty sick. So let's jump into stage 7. Okay, let's get rid of that skip through all of the story because i know you guys just want to see me take on these stages uh let's keep rouse the troops because i do enjoy using it that much okay dark elf soldier you're kind of nothing to us to be honest let's do this get rid of him yondu Uh, okay, Dark Elf Leader. So we could actually finish it, I believe. Yeah, we should be able to do this. Rouse the troops. Get rid of him. Put our other zero cost card down. And we've done it. And they get that little Wakanda buff. Wakanda forever. And we are able to take out the Destroyer pretty easily. Ulysses Claw with his uh, sonic cannon or whatever it is he has on his arm. Nice. Okay, what did we get? Okay, 2 XP. Every little helps. And I think that is it. Chapter 2. Oh no, not yet. We're moving on up to Asgard. Let's continue. So stage 8. Let me just quickly check how many stages there are though. Okay, so we are going to finish on stage 10. So three more stages to go. Okay, hmm, something's a bit strange here. Look at the board. So it looks like Malekith is messing around with the board up here in Asgard. So, hmm, let's drop him here. Hmm. Okay, Skeletal Archer. That is fine. Let's drop him down here. Get that frag. Thank you. Okay, Skeletal Archer. That's fine. Let's use Rouse the Troops. Ooh. What's going on here? Okay, I was going to say, why can't I uh, put that on the board? Very strange. Okay, that's fine. Get rid of him. Drop that down. So the targeting system is a bit off. I believe it's because of the uh, thing that Malekith did to the spike board, I believe. But we were still able to get through pretty easily. And Rouse the Troops is literally carrying us through. Nice. Let's move on to stage nine. And then we're going to end the video after stage 10. Again, messing around with a spike board. It's just not necessary. There's no need for that. Okay, nice. We're going to get some assists here from uh, Volstag and I think it's Fandral and Hogan. Okay, so this is making it pretty easy for us. Can we get Rouse the Troops? That is the question. Um, no Rouse the Troops, unfortunately. Yeah, no Rouse the Troops, but let's take this guy out here at the top with TOV. 
And let's put down Man Ape. And that was it. Nice amount of damage there from these guys. And it all helps that they do have the team synergy buff. Very nice. Is there another round? Okay. Huh. Thank you for the assist, Sif. And... Hmm. Let's drop down... Yeah, let's put down Ulysses' claw. Ooh, rouse the troops. Okay, let's do this. Oh! That's fine. And... Let's rouse these troops. Oof! Look at that attack stat. Thank you, Sith. Valkyrie. You don't know anything like the Valkyrie in, in Ragnarok. Hmm. Let's move on. Loki playing tricks as usual. Let's get our reward. And last stage of the video, stage 10 of chapter 2. Okay, so now to take on Malekith. So Loki reveals that he has been pretending to be Thor to draw out the enemies of Asgard while also acting as a double agent. Hmm, typical Loki, always causing problems. Okay, so we need to attack Malekith once with a battle line. Hmm, so something like this could be a bit tricky for people, but with Rouse the Troops, it should be pretty easy, but then again, we do not need to actually attack him for a certain amount of damage. So that is fine. And I believe we may need to fight him twice. As the first time is just to deal a bit of damage to him. And Malekith's ability is going to be attacking us. So deal 45 damage to a single enemy. If there are more than two enemy characters on the field. Interesting. Okay, let's do this. Thank you. Okay, he's going to attack us again. Hey, Yondu, that's fine. So we can form two battle lines here. Okay, that is slightly annoying. He should not take out Ulysses' claw. Didn't even actually target him, which is great. So he managed to form one battle line. And then the second time should be for real. Okay, nice. Okay, Frost Giant Berserker. Um, why not? Let's drop down Man Ape. Deal a little bit of damage there. Oh, nice, a three. It's always nice to see threes on the board. Okay, she is a bit annoying, but I don't really want her on the board again. So we are going to take out him. And let's do this. Okay, where are they going to put their card? Are they going to try and form a battle line at the top? Or are they going to try and... Okay, that is fine. So they both got pretty low HP. So let's keep Dagger. Doesn't really matter which one she takes out, to be honest. But... Yes, we got the card we want. So let's put Dagger right here. Okay, that is fine. And we still have TOV, so hopefully the next card they put down is not going to be very strong. Yep. 
another dark elf leader so let's drop this down and let's move war machine and we did it and dagger finishing it <laughs> dagger finishing it off for us again tongue tied there and that is it Thor is breaking the rainbow bridge or oh, actually he's creating a portal it seems done okay only 20 xp unfortunately but we've done it chapter one and chapter two of campaign mode let's have a quick look at the team i used so as you saw it primarily consisted of one cost cards with doctor strange i don't really use doctor strange that much to be honest but as i said he is a card that many new players may have in their hand War Machine, probably not, but some of these other cards you can actually get from Special Ops. So just make sure you keep playing through Special Ops so you can actually get these cards. So as you can see, ah, they've actually, in the update, you can't actually see the cards, which is very annoying. Let's do it here. So Yondu from Special Ops, Chapter 8, Stage 4, and Chapter 8, Stage 8, Normal Mode. And Daredevil, Chapter 2, Stage 3. Chapter 2, Stage 7, and Hard Mode, Chapter 1, Stage 6, Dagger, Chapter 2, Stage 1, Chapter 2, Stage 5, and Chapter 2, Stage 9, all on normal. And Akwe, unfortunately, cannot be collected from Special Ops. Man Ape, however, he can. So he's actually Hard Mode, though, right at the end. So Chapter 8, Stage 7, Ulysses Claw, you can collect from Special Ops. Chapter 5, Stage 6, Hard Mode. And Rouse the Troops, unfortunately, you cannot get from Special Ops, but you can buy it from the shop if you happen to have at least one copy. Techno Organic Virus, you can get from Special Ops, a so hard mode, Chapter 1, Stage 3. And Yaka Arrow, same thing, hard mode, Chapter 7, Stage 10. But unfortunately, with Photon Strike, you cannot actually get that from Special Ops. But I hope you did enjoy this little video and like i said it's going to be a new series for new players to the game hopefully it gives them some ideas on how they can actually take out each stage of each chapter of campaign mode and i'll be coming again very soon with the next installment with chapter three and possibly four as well so i hope you did enjoy the video if you did like the video feel free to like comment and hopefully subscribe and as always if you want to join us on discord link is in the description thanks again guys and i'll see you in the next marvel battlelands video take care bye